All right, this next problem, um, you got a little hint here. It says solve by factoring. So we're going to get everything on the same side so we can factor this. And the reason we need to factor this is because we have a sine x and a sine squared x. So we need a little different technique. Um, so I'm going to factor out a sine, which is going to give me sine x minus 2. And now that it's factored, since it's equal to 0, we're going to set both of these equal to 0. So either sine x equals 0 or sine x minus 2 equals 0. All right, so I'm going to take a look at this right side first. Sine x equals 2. Um, there is no solution to that. Um, sine can never be 2 because remember uh, the, the range of sine is only between 1 and negative 1. So it's never going to be 2. So we don't have to worry about anything over there. Now, we do need to figure out um, where sine is 0. So to do that, we want to think about what angles give us a sine of 0. Now, if you'd like to draw triangles, you can. While students take classes, um, we could be in the first and second quadrant. We have opposite and hypotenuse, uh, which means this is very poorly drawn. It means that this triangle is all smashed up right here, and the same thing's going to happen over here. So our solution, our first solution, this one right here, is x equals 0. And then we have another one that happens at pi. And another one that happens, because remember, every time we go around, another one happens at 2 pi and 3 pi and 4 pi, because um, they just keep happening. So instead of writing it like this, we're going to say that our solutions happen every pi n. Okay, so every time we hit pi, um, any multiple of pi, we will hit a solution. And that's it. All right, this last one um, we want to solve on the interval from 0 to 2 pi by factoring. Now, this should excite you because this means that we do not need the uh, plus 2 pi n or the plus pi n. Okay, It's only asking for the solutions one time around the circle. So these problems are actually easier. So we want to solve this by factoring. Um, if you like the w factoring, that might be a good thing here. So this is 2w squared minus 3w plus 1. Um, we're going to have to umbrella factor this. Um, so both of these are going to be negative. So 2 and 1. We have to divide that by 2. So we get w minus 1 and 2w minus 1. Which, of course, they weren't w's. They were sines. So sine x minus 1 and 2 sine x minus 1. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that all of these are equal to 0. So now we're going to set both of these factors equal to 0. So either sine x is equal to 1, or when we sign, set this one equal to 0, sine x is 1 half. Okay, so we're going to draw triangles for both of these situations. So first we have this one, all students take classes. Um, so we could be here or here, opposite and hypotenuse, which means this side is 0. Um, so this triangle is going to be smashed up all the way up here. Um, this triangle is going to be the exact same. So the only solution from this is x equals pi over 2. All right, from this one, um, we're going to do the same thing, draw some triangles. Um, all students take classes. Since 1 half is positive, we'll draw them in the first and second quadrant. Um, so you, hopefully you recognize that's a 30 degree angle, which in radians is going to be pi over 6. And then same thing over here. That's a 30 degree angle, but measured from here is going to be 150, which is going to be 5 pi over 6. So this only has three solutions because, remember, we're looking only on the interval 0 to 2 pi. So we don't need to account for every single one that could possibly ever happen. Um, just three solutions.